TLO, what's poppin'? You know what I'm saying? I almost said we are on Twitch, but this vlog day, man, what's today's date? It's December 20th. I'm finally feeling a little better. I got a crazy cough, though, but whatever, man. Like, I got to continue on with this. Um, today, we're going to be cooking with the lit one. And as you can see by the title, we will, yes, indeed, we will be making pigs in a blanket. Um, now, what's crazy to me is the American version of pig in a blanket, it kind of makes sense. Like, it's a little miniature hot dog or a hot dog or a sausage or whatever. And it's wrapped in like croissant, like ready-made croissant things. And you heat it up and then it, it and then it looks like a little hot dog, like pig sausage inside of a blanket. Now you the UK, y'all a little bit carnal. Y'all be y'all like y'all meat paws. So this is a it's a Lancashire, Lancashire, Lancashire sausage wrapped in a piece of bacon. And for, for me, that just hit different. That's a lot of meat. That's a lot of cholesterol. That's a lot of blood pressure going up. And I got high blood pressure. I went to the doctor recently and I, you know. But nevertheless, this is the only fried piece of food I'm going to eat today or whatever you call this. So let's get into it. We're going to start with uh, the oven. Bake. It's say preheated to 425. We could do that. We're going to do it together. Start. Make sure it's empty. Okay. So, okay. So, I got this bacon. This is American regular bacon. I know some of y'all in the comments, Oh, you got to use our pork belly pig, but the big duck. No. I looked it up and they say it's much easier to just use this bacon. It's going to cook evenly. Everything's going to be everything and it's going to be all right. Y'all will get over it. Uh... There's also, I'm using this. I don't like pork. I don't like, this bacon is okay. Bacon I'm cool with, but I don't like pork sausage. It don't taste good to me. You feel me? It just, it just doesn't do it for me at the end of the day. And I'm not gonna subject myself to a whole pack of pork Lincolnshire and waste it. You know what I'm saying? So beef it is for me. Pause once again. Um, but yeah, man, let's, let's, let's get the preparation going. Got this in a P.O. box opening. It's a Husk Japan knife. L look at this, hold on. Bro, look. It came in a little case. Hold on, this is the most elegant knife I've ever seen in my life. Look, you gotta be careful. Look at this. Look at this. And all I'm gonna do for it, open this. <laughs> you get me. And don't forget, we do got the bacon here. You peel the top, they make it easy for you. Uh, Y'all don't see me in the picture, but that's all you need to see is this. Got my bacon, it's gonna fit. Yeah, okay, maybe not. All right, but whatever. Let's try it out. Is we gonna grab a sausage link? Boom, there's one link. One link. And then we gonna wrap it in then we're gonna wrap it in bacon, okay? So, boom, 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 eee! Just like this, and we're gonna do this, how many pieces? Five more times, do this five more times. Uh, this is a forever pause moment. I don't even like to touch things that are shaped like this, but whatever. It's for y'all, it's for the video. You know what, I'm gonna be back. I decided to make an executive decision and only make three. So into the oven at 425 for 20 minutes. Uh, cook time, 20 minutes. Put that thing on 20. All right, so in the meantime, you know what I'm saying? How y'all been? <laughs> My bad, I didn't mean to make that face, but how y'all been, man? It's tis the season. Uh, everybody doing good. I hope everybody's having a holiday cheer and things of that nature. Nobody out there grinching it. You get me? 
I don't want to waste y'all time and have a whole conversation, but uh, it's going to be a good Christmas, man. Finally got to get in the Christmas tree for my daughter. My mom wanted her to be in the spirit and have a Christmas tree at the house, so okay, cool, whatever. Going to go Christmas shopping Friday while she's at school, grab her some gifts. Uh, and yeah, that's how I'm bumming. So I got a, y'all know I've got a kettle. I really do this full time, this British stuff, you get me. Fill that up. Y'all can fill it up with me. I'm only making two cups. I don't need a whole bunch of tea. Boom. Ah, uh, blue light. I want y'all to rate my tea in the comments. First of all, rate my tea. I got a kettle. I don't want to hear, oh, we getting we taking points off because you ain't got a kettle. No. Uh, we're gonna go with. I'm thinking I'm gonna get traditional Yorkshire, put it in my LFC mug, boom, and then my brother, he probably want this biscuit tea, so I'm gonna get him some biscuit tea in a traditional black mug. Put these back. I got a good selection, by the way. I've never tried the berries yet. That's an Irish brew. Check it out. Check it out one of these days. And I don't drink whole milk. So I got this uh, fat free milk. Okay. Boom. Not gonna lie, when they, whoever sent me the kettle, I forgot who, but salute to you. This is the best thing that I've ever purchased. I use it for multiple things. Uh, not just for kettle and tea. You could bake your cup noodle with that water. You could, you could just do so many different things, you feel me? You don't gotta limit yourself to boiling, boiling water on the stove. That is so juvenile. I don't even know who, did, who would do such a thing like that when there's a kettle. Who made the kettle, first of all? Well, did the Brits make the kettle? Did somebody else make the kettle? Was, for the kettle, if the kettle was not invented by a British man, I don't, that's pain. That's real pain if it wasn't invented by a British man, but I'm still gonna use it and salute the Brits for it because y'all gave it to me. Me personally, after I gotta wait like three minutes, three, four minutes, then take the tea bags out, man. Don't leave your tea bags in. If you do, I don't know how to feel about you. Unsubscribe. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, me personally, I take three scoops of sugar, man. Gotta get three. One. Two. Three. Then my brother, he be taking two. Salute to him. Two scooper. Stir that up. Stir that up. Fat free milk because we will do do. We will take number twos at the end of the day. So to prevent myself from taking the number two, we get the fat free milk. And look at the color on that cuppa. Look at the color on those cuppas. You feel me? If you honestly think there's another American out there that makes a better cuppa than me, tag them in the video. Tag them in the video. Go ahead and stand on that type of business. If you really believe in your soul and your spirit that there's somebody out there that is from the United States of America that is making a better cup of tea than me, stand on it and put it in the comments. Tag them. All right, man, what I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna get on here and cap like I didn't need the assistance of the air fryer. The air fryer is undefeated in my book, man. If you need to crisp something up, go ahead and throw it in that young air fryer, man. Get right, get right. We just need that last little side to be crispy, and we good. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and test it out. Y'all can peep, you know what I'm saying?
the culinary endeavors of the UK. To me, I don't know what the fuss is. Everybody be hating on the UK when they come to making food. Some of it be okay, some of it don't be okay. This, I ain't gonna lie, if I had to rate it, I'm giving it a 6.5 out of 10. But I think it's because of user error. So the sausage I use is hot, it's spicy. I would just get a regular sausage next time. I'm gonna wrap it in bacon. It'll probably be a 10 out of 10, you know what I'm saying? You can't really miss that. Bacon and, and, and pork on pork. Uh, oh, and this is beef. So I would get a regular beef sausage. I would get like meat wrapped in bacon. You can't really, you can't really jag that. I, I wouldn't say a 10. I would give it probably a nine out of a 10 if it was regularly regular beef sausage. But yeah, man. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. If you got other things you want me to try, let me know in the comments. I'm gone.